Boxing Truth here. I wanted to talk a little bit about a fighter in named Tevin Farmer, a young fighter from Philadelphia. I've had my eye on him for the past couple of fights now. He's getting a little uh, fan following because the kick and fight, he's got some skill. He's He's, um, the record doesn't indicate that. He's 20 and 4, one draw, uh, five knockouts, only five knockouts, but he's, he's really improved ever since his, his losses. I mean, all four of his losses, um, came, came in the first year as a, as a, as a pro. His last loss was against the current. IBF champion at 130 in, in Pedraza, and uh, ever since that fight, uh, he's he's on a he's on a big winning streak. Over 13 straight fights, he's won ever since. He hasn't fought anybody real during this stretch of opponents. He's he's up, you know, he's beat a couple of prospects, undefeated prospects, took a few guys L's, but he hasn't gotten the fights that he, he truly craves. He wants a big name fight, a fight that will get him on the map, get him more of a fan following. He's already making some noise between, you know, hardcore fans. Cause if you watch the kid fight, he's he's very skillful. Very slick. I like the way he fights too. He don't he don't run. He doesn't you know, he doesn't, you know, do any bitch tactics in the ring. He's you know, he's a fighter. He even though he only has five knockouts he tries to put some damage on you. He stays in the pocket, but he's very skillful. He'll faint, he'll move his head, counter, and he'll slip your punches. It's not easy to hit Tevin Farmer. And he stays in the pocket. He makes you miss and makes you pay. And uh, I like that type of fighting style. It's the style I, I used to use when I, used to, when I boxed as an amateur. It's a very effective style. You're always in position to punch. When you... When you Go on your back foot constantly. Uh, you can all you can sometimes be out of range to counter. So it's better to, you know, invite your opponent to punch you, slip it, sidestep, counter, and you catch your opponent off guard. Because most of the times when you counter punch somebody, they're not ready for the punch. Especially if you go to the body, it can really hurt somebody. When you slip a punch and go to their body, they're not ready for it. Or you catch him between the punch, or you punch with your opponent. Effective style, and uh, it's worked for Tevin Farmer. His past 13 fights, his four losses, he he'll say that those those are not losses. It was ter- during a period of uh, of his life that he was going through some issues, and he wasn't taking boxing as seriously as he is now. He'll say that if he loses now, it'll be an official loss because somebody will beat him at his best. He's having trouble getting any big name opponents. He's promoted by Lou DiBella. And it's understandable because Tevin Farmer right now, he's not highly rated by any of the uh, sanctioning bodies. He's only rated by one of them, the WBC. He's currently ranked number 14. And no name fighters are going to fight an unknown guy for no money. That's just the way it is in boxing. Boxing, you know, some name fighters, you know, they want to get paid. They're going to fight you. So Tevin Farmer, he's got he's gonna have to do it the old hard fashion way. He's got to climb the rankings, keep beating whoever's in front of him, among the rankings of the the organization that he's ranked, and he's gonna have to climb into the number one position, contendership position, and, and enforce it mandatory. That's the only way he'll get uh, some big name fighters to fight him. There is an opponent being mentioned for his next fight. He's currently training right now, uh, waiting, awaiting a, an official date. I'm hearing sometime in March. I'm not really sure. There's really nothing official. But Edna Cherry has been mentioned as an opponent. And that's a good fight. Very good fight for for both guys. Edna Cherry is very experienced, seasoned. Some some people feel he got jobbed his last fight against Pedraza. That he was... Uh, robbed of a of a of a of a world title um 
to be a good fight. It'll be the best opponent Farmer has, has faced thus far. Favorite Farmer, I mean, yeah, favorite Farmer in the fight. He's the younger, uh, fresher guy. He's coming off 13 win winning streak. Cherry, he's he still can fight. He's still a, a real pro. Always gives his his best effort. Always comes in shape. Just a little older now, and you know he's had he's had a lot of fights over over 44 bouts in his career now. So if it's if it's gonna go down, it'll be a, it'll be a good crossroad fight. Good test to see how good Tevin Tevin Farmer really is. I want to see Tevin Farmer in a, in a a really big name fight. You know, one of the big name fighters at 130 fighting him, like a Walters or a um, um, who else? A Walters, a uh, uh, Pedraza. Nah, I don't, I don't. Pedraza bores me to death. Um, I don't like watching him fight. Uh, Francisco Vargas. There's a few names out there. I mean, the 130 division is, uh, is getting is getting heated up. There's plenty of uh, fighters that he could fight, but he has to keep climbing the rankings and keep gaining a following. He's he's going into the right direction. He was he was on an HBO Latino his last fight. Uh, destroyed the guy he fought, uh, Dallas Prescott. Granted, he was a late replacement, but he did did very well in that fight. Dominated, out just schooled him, outclassed him, and ended up knocking him out in a tremendous, uh, very impressive win. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't a you know, he was nobody special or anything, Dallas Prescott, but it was a he, Farmer did what he was supposed to do. Orlando Salido would be great. Um, Fortuna, I wouldn't mind. I mean, he's with the Bella, so some of the fights uh, can be made at 130. Pedraza's possible, and Fortuna will be po uh, possible, but he might fight Uchiyama. However, uh, I'm not sure how possible it will be with get, like Walters or Vargas. Those guys are with, on the other side. The Bella is considered a sham promoter for Heyman, so... I don't know if he's strictly just going to fight uh, Heyman clients or guys affiliated with the Bella and affiliated with Showtime. But I want to see Tevin Farmer climb the rankings and uh, and get a big fight because I just want to see how good he is. I'm impressed with his skill set. You know, he really um, has He's improved and he, he's, he's definitely a fighter to watch out for. If the Edna Cherry fight happens, that's good. It's a good fight. And uh, Cherry's ranked number 11 by WC, so it will just put uh, put Farmer in a position to to climb the rankings. There's a lot of um, names in the WC rankings. Mura, Salido. So hopefully uh, Farmer... Can continue to climb the rankings and, and get that big fight he's craving for. He wants it real bad. He feels a lot of fighters are not interested in fighting him. It's understandable though. He he's, he's just doesn't bring the type of you know dough or opportunity any name fighter would want. So you know, he's let me know what y'all think about Tevin Farmer. How good is he? Do you think he's uh? has potential to be a world champion. This is Boxing Truth from out.